Hello everyone, I had a few topics in mind that I wanted to talk about but none of them were really worth making a video so I combined them into this video so there will be three topics in this video the Tiny M uh, builds progress update, the Dragon Hut end and in general what's going on with the ongoing projects of the channel because I know I didn't do much many updates recently and well I'll get to why but uh, first of all let's start with the Tiny M You'll see that there really isn't much change in the cat, but uh, what I wanted to mention really is now I have everything I designed on a GitHub repository. I'll link this in the description below if you're interested in this, but obviously remember that I didn't really uh, build this printer yet, so this is really just for uh, if you want to draw inspiration from this or something, or you know if you want to use a single part of this in your build or something, I don't know. This is really just for that. Uh, as I said, this, I haven't built this yet, so I'm sure there are some problems with some of the parts here, but uh, yeah, if you want them, they're released right now, and once I build this, I will definitely update this uh, repository as well, so you will have the latest information, and I'll try to do some documentation as well, but obviously don't expect like a war on level of uh, documentation, uh, as we'll probably just have a few uh, things like the extrusion lengths and stuff like that, again, don't expect too much. But uh, for now, the CAD file, the DXF files for the panels, and there really are a lot of panels for this. And the STLs are here, and well, you can use these if you have a use for this, and as I said, it's in the description below. Now, uh, moving on to the Dragon Hut end, you might have noticed that it's basically impossible to find the Dragon Hut end, and this is just a meme I saw on the E3D uh, Discord, but really it's very difficult to find for some people since the Dragon Hut end is delisted from the Triangle Labs AliExpress store, and we started to see scalpers scalp these up to uh, basically ridiculous prices. So, uh, yeah, if you don't know what's going on, if you live under a rock, what happened is. Well, I think what happened is, because I don't think there is official confirmation, but I'm pretty sure this is what happened. Uh, Slice Engineering took down the Dragon Hut end. And the reason I say that is because they have a patent on the way the heat block attaches to the heat sink using these uh, four poles and two screws. It's the same method used in the Mosquito, and um, well, yeah, the Dragon uses as well. And they have this patent, even though I feel like they really shouldn't, but they have it. And unfortunately, they used it to take down the Dragon Hot End, which uh, really is sad, because in my opinion, it was the best Hot End available on the market. Even better than the Mosquito, in my opinion. And when I say that, I don't mean the uh, build quality or anything. Maybe the Mosquito is built better, but the reason I say that is because this doesn't need the Boron Nitrate Paste crap, which is a huge bonus in my opinion and this is smaller and cheaper as well so as I said that uh, this was my favorite hot end on the market and it looks like it will be gone pretty soon but uh, for now there are ways you can buy it if you are still interested D4 still sells them they mark the price up quite a bit but you know if you want to buy them before they disappear from the market this is one of the options and if you don't know D4 is a sister store to Triangle Lab so they're still selling it through the store. Eventually, I'm sure these will be taken down as well, but I guess it's about how long it takes for a Slice Engineering to realize this. But uh, yeah, as I said, it's available here. And there are also the Fetus versions. Fetus versions used to be more expensive than Triangle Lab versions, but at least on Nexus Studio, they are cheaper at the moment. If you don't know, there is basically no difference between the Triangle Lab and the Fetus version other than the shape of the heat block here. You can see that it has a slightly angular shape, you can tell that by the sock here. But, uh, well, as I said, it's basically the same thing, so, you know, if it is easier for you to buy the Fetus version, there are a few resellers of those as well, and I'm sure these will disappear as well, but, yeah, it's still an option. And there's also the Boron Edition, which looks really cool in my opinion. It is pretty expensive, but, you know, it looks pretty cool. And it's mostly a street cred thing, because it will be hidden behind the afterburner if you're buying this for a Voron, which, if you're buying a Voron edition, I'm assuming you are. But, um, yeah, it's still pretty cool, and I kind of want one, but shipping is ridiculously expensive from this place, and I don't think anyone else sells this at the moment. But I could be wrong about it, I didn't do much research. So uh, now the projects that are still going on on the channel that I still uh, haven't updated. There is the MPCNC, there is the Voron 2, there is the Voron 0, and the upcoming Tiny M build. The Tiny M build, I ordered uh, some of the parts that I need for it, so 
the first episode should be fairly soon. And the uh, same goes with uh, War on Zero. I'll do that upgrade to the War on Zero Point One fairly soon as well. And the NPC and C because I just need to print a part and well I, after that I should be able to get it working again. I know it's been a while but I want to get that working uh, as soon as possible at this point. But what's keeping all of those pro projects from progressing is the Voron 2 series. Right now my Voron 2 is the printer that is closest to being able to print 3D printed parts, but uh, it still isn't there obviously. So uh, what's going on with that is uh, I have the new uh, spider board as you know, I did an unboxing of that. And I also designed a new PCB if you remember in a few episodes back in the Voron 2 series and that's this PCB. Or if I just switch to the 3D view, we can see it a bit better. So I'm waiting for this to arrive. I ordered this from PCBWay as usual. And it's taken longer than usual for it to arrive. But that is because we're in a lockdown right now, which ends in 17th of May. So it should arrive sometime close after that. So I don't know, probably sometime that week. And hopefully I will be able to get my Warren 2 printing in that week as well. I don't know. Of, uh, if nothing goes wrong that is but uh, yeah after that I'll do the Boron 2 episode and then I should be able to continue working on every other project that I have going on at the channel as well so yeah, that's been the bottleneck for now and that's kind of the reason I couldn't keep up with the usual two video per week schedule but uh, yeah as soon as I get my Boron 2 working I should be able to get back to that schedule and uh, well yeah that's really all I wanted to talk about so just to summarize the I'm waiting for the Boron 2 PCB to basically continue every single project that I have going on on the channel. The Dragon Hut and it's going away, but if you want to buy one, it's still an option. And the Tiny M, I released a lot of the CAD files, the STL files, the XF files, all of them on GitHub if you're interested in them. But as I said, that's a work in progress. And uh, really, I just want to talk about these, so that's it for this video, and thanks for watching.